close your eyes and look for some good potentials here in the present moment. Your past karma is serving up all kinds of things. There are the potentials for pain, so the potentials for pleasures in the body, and the potentials for skillful and unskillful qualities in the mind. And you could just sit there and say, well, I'll accept whatever comes up. But I've never t heard the word acceptance in the Pali Canon. They talk about being equanimous. They talk about being patient. But the source of all skillfulness is neither patience nor equanimity. It's heedfulness. Realizing that what you do makes a difference. And after all, this is what the Four Noble Truths are all about. Some things you do will lead to suffering. Other things you do will lead to the end of suffering. And it's obviously where the, the Buddha would have you go. And if you have any concern about your own happiness, it's obvious where you want to go too. So you realize there are choices to be made. So look in the present moment, see what potentials there are for skillful qualities of the mind, what potentials there are for places where you can settle down with a sense of ease. Develop, develop those. We're dealing with potentials here. The present moment isn't served up to us ready-made. The ingredients are there. It's simply a matter of our putting them together and choosing which ones we want. It's like going into the refrigerator and seeing there's good food and there's rotten food. You throw the rotten food out, you make good food out of the good food. And that way you don't get sick. So in the same way, it's not that you just reach into the refrigerator and eat whatever comes out or whatever you pull out. You look at what you've got. Otherwise, people go through life as if they were blindfolded, grabbing at this, grabbing at that, hoping for, that the luck of the draw will give them something good. But if they open their eyes a little bit, they can see certain things have good potentials, other things don't. Some things may not look all that good right now, but they do have a good potential. That's what you've got to learn how to look for. And at the same time, look for things that look like they might look good, but will lead to something bad down the line. And then develop skill. So if you find that you've developed something that's not going in the right direction, where well, you can change things. This puts you more in charge. Because it means that you have to pay more attention to what you're doing. But after all, that's a lot of what alertness is all about. It's part of the path. If this were a matter of just accepting, accepting, you wouldn't have to be very alert. But it's because things can make a difference. That's what you have to be alert to, the signs for what's a good potential and the signs for what's a bad potential. And over time you learn how to read those signs, and you develop the skills for developing good potentials and saying no to bad potentials. And that way you can pick your way through a minefield and get out to the other side. Because that's what your past karma is, it's like a minefield. You've got to be very careful where you step. That's why the Buddha laid out the path. He said, here's the Eightfold Path, this is a safe path. But if we decide we don't like his path, well, he doesn't guarantee the results. He guarantees only the things that are on the path. 